And today, I get to talk to you about how the brain is affected by adversity and trauma. Now, this is one of my most favorite topics, and I've been told by communications that I can't go into the great detail that I would love to go into this because I got to get this done quickly. So, here we go. As humans, we are designed to maintain basically a status quo. This is called our, our homeostasis. So for example, your temperature is 98.6. If it goes up, you regulate it and it comes down. If it goes down, you regulate it and it comes up. We adjust our bodies to the environment in which we, in which we live. The key player in almost all these homeostatic mechanisms is the hypothalamus. That's a part of our brain that communicates with the bloodstream. It releases hormones and it's the thing that starts the fight or flight response. Now the hypothalamus is regulated by the limbic system. The limbic system is the parts of your brain that does emotion. And the limbic system is modulated and is, is affected by the frontal lobes. And another one of these things, I'll talk to you about how important the frontal lobes are. But in general, if the frontal lobes are controlling your limbic emotions, and your limbic emotions are creating the responses in your hypothalamus that lead to fear and fight and flight and freezing, then we know that the things that affect our brain, the frontal parts of our brain, are the things that we need to bolster in order to allow ourselves to deal with adversity and trauma. So what we see in folks who've experienced adversity and trauma is that they have a hypersensitivity to this limbic part of the brain and they have a hypersensitivity to fear uh, and to, uh, to this fight or flight response. So all these things that we're talking about, where we were talking about how you're breathing or how you're sleeping or making human connections or whether you're listening to music or and doing some mindfulness, all those things, that's involved in making the connections between your frontal lobe and the limbic system to avoid the fear response that we get when we're dealing with adversity. And I'm gonna give another talk at some point and I'll talk with you about what happens when your frontal lobe goes offline. But right now, we're gonna try to keep our frontal lobes online because your brain and the rest of your body will thank you for it. All right, thanks for taking a moment with me. Stay strong.